The mission of Project Interconnections is to provide permanent supportive housing to adults who face the challenges of mental illness and homelessness. Uh, we have a great partner in Community Friendship who provides the support services for all four of our projects, which are located in Metro Atlanta. We're at Rosalind Apartments right now with 56 beds. We also have a project uh, in Kirkwood called Presley Woods with 40 beds, a project in downtown Atlanta called O'Hearn House, which has recently been uh, refurbished with 76 beds. And our oldest project, uh, and the one we started with, with Mrs. Carter's help, is Phoenix House, which is located in West End, Atlanta, with 69 beds. Hi, my name is Eugenio Benitez, and I'm here at the Rosen Apartments. I've been here for three and a half years, and uh, it's been a blessing to me um, when I first came here. Uh, it was kind of like a, I was kind of like a lost sheep and uh, it's given me time to really learn some things about some of my illnesses that I have. And one of the things that I love here, they, they show you and guide you and help you how to become part of a community where you can actually be self-supportive and just uh, learn some things that uh, helps you live a quality in life. Um, here they have a lot of activities, they have a monthly calendar, they have support and uh, one of these projects is one of the things that they did over the uh, last summer build the garden. We also have a garden where they have vegetables, collard greens and uh, there's a lot of support here. Um, when I came here I prayed and prayed and I prayed before I came here, I was in a shelter, and to me, this is like a kind of like one of my prayers come true. Because when, um, the facilities here, you have your own apartment, kitchen, bathroom, uh, and it's just been a blessing for me to be here. And there's a lot of community here. We all get together, and we just share a lot of things in common here. Um, my name is Ellen. And I've lived here at Roseland Apartments for seven years. I've come a very long way. When I first got here, I was suicidal thoughts in my mind I couldn't get rid of. And then um, I gradually had support community around here. When I got here, I was so excited to be around people who had a similar illness to me, a mental illness, because I felt like I had something in common. I wasn't alone. And we have this really great group called Community Friendship Social Services that helps us at Rosalind and all the other Project Interconnections. And they, even for part of our community, we communi have community with the other projects, like a fall festival, Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner, Fourth of July. We get together, play bingo, um, have dinners. And also they provide counseling. Um, you can meet with your case manager about usually about once a week for just a few minutes to check in and see how you're doing and to help you. And um, out here is where we feed the birds. We ever like to see the birds. We put them on the steps and those bushes we call them the bird condos because the birds are all in those uh, birds. Birds live in those bushes so we call them the bird condos. My family is so happy that I'm here, that I have some support because they weren't able to uh, give me the support that I needed. So I'm, they're very happy that I'm here and I have just gotten better and better every year. And I just feel better and i um, able to um, take care of myself better and volunteer here. I volunteer in the garden and um, help with the planting and the watering. We have people who do that. And uh, it's just a, been a great thing. We have, um, for community, we have a community room where like last weekend they showed a movie and everybody wanted to come see the movie and then they had snacks. And um, they have a van that takes people to Kroger or Walmart or that kind of thing and some people sometimes people donate tickets to us like to go once or summer we get to go to a Braves game or something like that so it's 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 a nice community
Every two years, the city of Atlanta and Fulton County and DeKalb County do a homeless count. We participate in that count every, uh, every time they do it. And at the last count, there was in excess of 9,000 homeless individuals in that, uh, we call it the Tri-J area, City of Atlanta, Fulton County, and DeKalb County. So our, our, our service to the community is so very important because we have 240 people that would be a part of that 9,000, but now they have a permanent uh, residence that they can call home. They come to our, our um, facilities and they have uh, no requirement as to how long they can stay. When they're ready to go, they can move on to the next step, but they can stay as long as they need to.